You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I get to do a Nostalgia Electrics Electric S'mores Maker, and I'm pretty excited about this. We're coming into fall, so gearing up with some ovens, um, cool maker sets for Halloween, and then stuff, you know, kind of that fits into the fall theme, other baking type stuff. We did a lot of ice shavers this season, probably more than we've ever done. So here is the side panel. Hard to read. It's a big box. Bring a taste of the outdoors inside and enjoy homemade s'mores all year round. So they give you recipes and other things to try. Okay, that side of the box is the same. This kind of repeats out of the side, just a different color. Roast marshmallows to perfection over flameless electric heater. Includes four storage compartments, which I'm going to fill up with all kinds of cool stuff. I can't just make regular s'mores, so I was looking at the instructions. That I did take out of the box already, just because I needed to get an idea of what I was up against, really. You know, what did I really need to get from the store? What other recipes did they have? So I'm going to do, I'll do regular s'mores, but I have two other recipes that I've got supplies for. And I'm going to do those as well, so we can try something brand new. And I've done other s'mores makers, so this will kind of go along with those. So when I come back, I'll have this out of the box. We'll check out the machine here, and then we will get started. All right. Now, this is not how it's put together. I just wanted to show you all the individual pieces. You have your instruction booklet, which I will set to the side. Your four prongy thingies. What are they called? They probably have a technical name. The technical name is marshmallow prongs. No, these are called roasting forks. So I will have to actually wash these. I'll set them off to the side for now, get them out in a little bit. This does not go here, this sits on top of here. Okay, and then let's see, it says, thread the plug of the electric s'mores maker through the hole in the center of the food tray. Step one. So let's do that. All right, so this goes through here, and then I pull, 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 and I'll set this on here. It almost has to be a two-handed operation there. And then I noticed, I don't know if you noticed this, there's a little, pull a little less. There we go. There's a little notched area here, so that could be for the cable. I'm not sure, but it looks like it might be to kind of hold it there. And then where's the on-off? Okay, here's the on-off switch. So let me plug this in. Of course, when I come back, I'll have the instructions as far as recipes. All right, plugged in. And then, let's see. The power cord should be placed between the gaps of each compartment. Oh, okay. And then, place the electric s'mores maker in the center of the food tray. Got all that. Okay, turn it on. This should light up. Ooh, it does. Heat. Almost right away, I feel the heat. This kind of reminds me, here, I'll take this off before it gets too hot, of my little electric ovens that I've had in the past, doesn't it? So let's see. Yes, it's getting warm. Nice and toasty, like a campfire. All right, but the smoke is not getting in your eyes and burning your eyes and making them water. Helpful tips. All right. I'll come back now, let that heat up just a little bit. I'll get everything washed that I need to wash, and then I will show you everything we're gonna make today. All right, here we go. I have now all three set here. So I'm gonna do a standard s'mores, which is your candy bar, your marshmallow, and your graham cracker. And then they have one called Chocolate Cherry Delight. And doesn't that sound good? It's a brownie with cherry preserves, your syrup, and of course, marshmallows on top of that. And we'll see how to put all that together. And the last one I'm gonna do is called Rosted, Rosted. It's called Roasted Strawberry Banana Flutter Nutter Sandwich. So now that is going to be the roasted marshmallows and then strawberry flavored. Now I have these are vanilla flavored, but they're red. That's the closest I can find to strawberry flavored. And it also needs peanut butter, which I have fresh banana, and then bread, which you're going to toast. So all that works as the recipe. 
So when I come back, I'm going to have everything out of the way so I can get set to make a standard s'mores. And then I'll set up my compartments here and we will get going. All right, so let's get our compartments ready. So we need graham crackers. Now, usually they're cut in half. So here is a fresh pack. And if you look at the compartments here, they show it in the picture just kind of like stacked up like that. So let's say you're at the dinner table and it's time for s'mores. You can do this same thing. That's kind of what I like about it. I mean, I've already had one outdoor s'mores barbecue kind of session. So, you know, you got to have the wood. You got to get everything ready. So that's fun. And I'm going to continue to do that. But here's an option for you. We'll see how it works compared to other ones we have tried. All right. And then fluffy marshmallows. Let's put some in here. You know how marshmallows sometimes stick. They've been sitting in warm conditions. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Fluffy. And I guess you could do marshmallows, chocolate, and one in each compartment so that four different people can build their own, right? I guess that's an option. All right, we're not ready to roast yet, but this thing is hot. Ooh, it's very hot. Do not touch, for sure. And be careful. Now let's get our candy bar in here. Chocolate bar. Lift and pull here. That always helps. Okay, it did not help me this time. Oh, there we go. So I like to just kind of go like this, like that. I know it's a lot of chocolate, but that's what I'm going to do. So we'll set some. Here, we'll do it over here. It's easier to get to while I'm crafting my little morsels. Here, I'll just make two regular s'mores. Now, I made s'mores with these before. These are pretty good, these cookies and creams. Mm. Okay. Oh, oh, that's bad. I might have to eat that. Okay, I would say I am set. Let me move some stuff out of the way, center this, and we will roast some marshmallows. All right, so you can see now the color is starting to darken on the top a little bit. Ooh, and it's very hot. Ooh, too hot. Don't do that. And then you take your s'mores. To start your s'mores, you take your graham cracker, then your chocolate on top. Now I did move this away from the side. I remember I had this angled on the side and it started to melt right away. So make sure you keep your chocolate on this outer edge. And let's take a fluffy marshmallow. Now I'm not sure. I guess my biggest question is, will it brown? I don't know. Let's just see what happens. I must have chocolate on my finger. So I don't know, let me get my phone here and start some timing. See how long it takes. I've been moving it a little bit too much. Here, let me set my clock. All right, clock. Timer. Uh, let's put the stopwatch on. Start. All right, so let's just say I'm starting now because I've been moving around too much anyway. So here we go. Starting now. Let's say it's 10 seconds. So let's just leave it by the heat. Now, if you have four people doing it, you wouldn't want to all be in the center. So you kind of want to be in this outer area here. Let's just hold it still. Oh, it's already starting to sweat and slightly bubble there. That was at 30 seconds. Now we know a real fire, you're going to have whoo, your marshmallows just going to go up in flames real fast. I wonder how many marshmallows have lost their life in a fire just because when you do campfires, they fall in, they burn. They become more of a novelty, like, ooh, let's see what happens to our marshmallow when we burn it. Okay, I feel like it is getting, yes, it's puffy and cooking. I see some brown coming in there now. Nice. So now we're at a minute. So about a minute, you've got a fluffy looking marshmallow. Now next step is really to take that Put that in here and squeeze your marshmallow down. Look, it's puffing up. Let me just try to hold as still as possible in one spot. See if we can get it to brown right there. Yes, it does. See, it's starting to brown. Now, a lot of people don't like burnt brown marshmallows. And some people do, so. 
All right, so marshmallow s'mores number one. It's floppy and ready to fall off like a regular marshmallow that's cooked on fire. Let's just see if we get a good smush here. Let's take it over here now. Push this down and then smush it. Nice. Oh yeah, look, it's definitely creamy with a nice smooshiness to it. Look at that. Okay. That's a nice looking s'mores. Now I can't eat this whole thing. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little bite. Here we go, little bite, little bite. Hmm. Get all smushed out, just like a regular s'mores. And now I have it everywhere, so I have to eat this now. Now let's see if we can see inside. Chocolate is melting there now where it touched it. Let's just crack it. Ah, that came out nice. Look, it's melting the chocolate real nice. All right, that is number one. I really didn't need this, but I ate some anyway. It only takes about a minute and a half, so let's do another one here. I don't know how many of these I could eat though. Start with that. Then bring in, I'm going to bring in a smaller piece of chocolate. Okay. Uh, reset my timer. Start. I'm going to say it works pretty good. You got about a minute, minute and a half to get it browning. Or if you just like it warmed and soft, you can go a little bit less. I'll show you how hot this is. I'll touch this. See that? It melts right on there. So this top piece is removable. Oh, I got chocolate all over my fingers. That's why a lot of times I like to stop. Oh, look, it's starting to burn right on that. And clean up so I can... See, I got chocolate on my recipe book, and I get chocolate on my camera. My fingers get sticky. Let's see if right in the middle it really starts to heat up faster. So you can't tell, but it's already starting to become that mushy marshmallow in about a minute. So if you can wait a minute, you've got yourself a hot marshmallow. Ooh. Let's see. Let's just page ahead here. Okay, the roasted strawberry banana fluffernut sandwich. Now that takes strawberry marshmallows, which I didn't have. So you have to toast some bread. So I'm going to bring in a toaster. See, it's browning there. Spread peanut butter on that. Put bananas on that. Then marshmallow on that. And then put your warm marshmallow and then eat it. Mm -mm. I'm going to say, look at that. It's almost ready. About a minute and a half. I'm just going to hold it in one spot. Just like that. See if I can get it really burnt. I'm not going to move. I see it. Can you see it? Look at that. Ooh. That was nice. It's ready to fall. I feel like it's going to fall in. So let's get this here. It's hard to do this with one hand. Here, I'll do it down here. Smush. I'd say that's as close as you're going to get. Look at that. Nice, warm, toasty s'mores. Let that nestle itself into the chocolate. Mmm. I will take a bite of this one. I just have to. Here we go. Alright, that's all I'm going to eat of that. Let me clean up. Mmm, good. Mmm, good. Let me clean up, come back, and we'll do recipe number two. Okay, recipe number two. Now that one was bread, peanut butter, banana, strawberry marshmallows. Now I'm going to grab some of my stars. I'll have to put like two or three on a skewer. Okay. I don't need that many, but they just look cool having some color in there, right? All right, that's set. Let me get them skewered up on one of my skewers. There we go. And there is some prep here, so I want to do
do all of that. Here, I'll put two on there. I'm only going to do like a... Let me see. I might have to do two skewers. I didn't clean these off. I thought I can get away with one. Here we go. And one. And two. So I'm going to have to go like this. Ooh, a challenge. All right, so it sets. Well, marshmallows are roasting, so someone else has got to be helping you here. Put the bread in and lightly toast it. So let's put this on A5. We'll see what that is. Haven't used this toaster in a while. Get your bananas ready, so peel your banana. And yes, I peel my banana from this end. And then slices. Okay, place slices of banana. Not like thin slices. I don't want them too thick. Not the best knife for this, but it will work. It's only a half a sandwich we're making because you take... Oh, I didn't need to put two slices in there. I'm going to leave it now. I was going to make a half because of the marshmallow requirements. Okay, there we go. Not my normal cutting knife, but it was handy. All right, so that's toasting. So maybe... Well, I'm going to put the peanut butter on, get the layers on before I start toasting the marshmallows. Let me read on here. So let's see. So once it's crispy, spread peanut butter on each side of bread. Ooh, that's hard to do. Place slices of banana on top of peanut butter. Place roasted marshmallows on one half of bread. And place another slice of bread on top to make a sandwich. Not sure why you would spread peanut butter on each side. Each, oh, each slice of bread. Sorry, I misread that. This is warm. This is warm. I'm just going to wait and see. I'm checking out my toast. It looks like it's getting there. We'll get ready to do the peanut butter. So we'll set you off to this side. Nice sliced banana. And we will just wait. So what do you think so far now? Have you ever done something like this? A roasted strawberry banana flutter nutter sandwich? Ooh. This toaster does that sometimes. It gives you that initial mm, just to warn you. And then it looks like it's a nice color. I'm going to pop it. I'm going to do a half is what I'm going to do. So I will fold this over with the marshmallow. That was my plan. And I have just regular old chunky peanut butter. One of my favorites is chunky. Okay. And now it's off to the roaster. So my plan now is to just take this. Yeah, let me get some of those half pieces in there. Nice and thin, look at that. Take this now and just fold it into the marshmallows. Okay, here we go. Two for one, let's see. Let's get them right in the center. And I don't, I can't reach my phone right now. Let me see, oh, let me do this. Now I can reach it. Set my time. Go back to stopwatch. Don't you hate when your phone just goes back to where you don't want it to go? Start. Okay. Hmm. So we know we have about a minute and a half of this. Now these were vanilla flavored, so... Ooh, that one's already browning. And you can tell they're getting a little taller. Hey, buddies. Whee! It's close. They are smaller and thinner, so maybe they don't take as long. It's 30 seconds so far. It's smoking. Ooh. And I'll do this side. I'll go the full minute. All right, there is a full minute. It's like ready to fall off. Let's get this in here now. Slide that over a little. Let's get this one in here. We'll use this one to grab this one. Ooh, all fluffy. Come here, fluffy guys. Boy, you need multiple hands for this. Watch, I was going to do this. Hot. Ooh, hot. That's a thick sandwich. Look at that. There we go. 
All right, so there is the sandwich. Dare I try that? I think I will. Let me take a bite. I got the first marshmallow. I could see if the strawberry had added that additional component flavor, but this is like a vanilla. Mmm. Peanut butter and banana is a good combination. One more bite. All right, recipe number two. Good and tasty. So I'll be back now with the brownies and do recipe number three. All right, I am on recipe number three and this requires a heating element, so a stove top. I have my little pot on my stove. And then remember these stackables? Well, I'm ready to put them in my section here, so let's do that. I'm gonna try these because they're flat and we'll see how they work. So let's see, step one, heat cherry preserves. All right, so these are Swiss preserves red cherry. Ooh, look at that. Let me mix that up a little bit. I'm a cherry fan, so I'm not sure if a preserve. Yeah, so there's no chunks like a jam. Let's get a little bit in here. It's already hot, so. Ooh, yeah. Let me turn that down just a little. Turn it down, turn it down. There's low. All right, I'm going to move that off to the side. I'll just let that heat up slowly. I'm going to put a little bit more in there to kind of cover the bottom of my pan. All right, so that's on low, heating off to the side. Ooh, it's nice to hear the sound of cooking, right? All right, so next. Ooh, that's heating up real fast. Let me turn this all the way low. Oh, that's high. Okay, this is all the way low, right there. All right, I guess we just have to hear the sound. Place brownies on a plate, so let's cut out a brownie. I'm gonna try to grab a center brownie. Probably not the easiest thing to do now, but oh yeah, look at that, came right out. All right, those are homemade brownies. Let's get this checked. Look at it, so it's starting to, I guess they want it to kind of break down a little bit, which they are. Ooh, and I see chunks of cherry in there, so there is chunks of cherry. All right, so place brownies on a plate, one in each plate, depending on how many you're serving. Make sure brownies are warm. You may bake brownies or heat store-bought brownies. So let me, uh, let me just put this in the microwave. Well, let me wait, I'm gonna wait on that. Spoon the preserves, place two large roasted cher uh, marshmallow brownies. So let me, no, place two large roasted marshmallows on each brownie. So I got one brownie, so I'm gonna do two of these. Kind of getting a little off skew here about heating and warming things up. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the microwave and I will be right back. All right, microwave just went off, so I caught it just in time. That was about 15 seconds. My syrup is ready, my cherries are bubbling off to the side. If you need if you can see my bubbling cherries. Let's move this in there. There, you'll see a little bubbles come up. I have it on the lowest setting, but it's still bubbling a little. Let's see. So spoon the cherries on the brownies. Place two marshmallows on the brownie and drizzle brownies with chocolate sauce in a zigzag formation. I think this one's gonna be my favorite. You know what I forgot? I forgot a spoon. I got every, oh, I'm gonna have to use the spoon for my cherry preserves or a fork to eat it. Okay, they're starting to sweat. Cherries are bubbling, microwave is set. I think we're close for recipe number three. Yes, they're popping up. See those cherries bubbling? Those are getting brown, a little brown. Maybe you don't see it in the camera, but it is getting brown. All right. Before these completely fall off, see that nice brown? I need to, ooh, they're starting to fall. I'll grab the brownie, come back, and put this together. Okay, so I'm gonna try to set these here. Hopefully they don't stick to everything. 
get my spoon, sprinkle this on. Look at that warm. Cherry preserves. Here we go. Look at that. We'll drizzle around the plate like they do on those shows. Ooh, bloody looking. Okay, I need that because I got to eat. Now, place two large marshmallows. So we got these flat ones here. That looks good. This one was like ready to completely fall off. Look at that. Marshmallowy and then drizzled chocolate. Let's get in here. I think it's best we see the drizzling chocolate up close. Right? We're kind of done with you for now. We'll move you out of the way. This is my last one, so here we go. Chocolate. Now you could heat this up. It doesn't say it has heat up, but you probably could. It might have said it, but I'm just skipping it now. Zigzag fashion. Zigzag lumpy fashion. How's that? There. Ooh. Taste that. Okay, so here we go. I'm now going to give it a taste of warm brownie with everything else nice and warm. Marshmallows had a little toastiness to them. Yeah, I'll go with that side, the toasty side. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Make sure I get some strawberry and I will taste. Ooh. That is good. I'm a chocolate and cherry fan, so. All right, I did all three. I will come back now, recap everything, and we'll just wrap it up. Okay, now look at that. The marshmallow just melted down. Here, let me give you a close up of that one. Let me just poke at it with something. Here, let me get one of my tongs, or my forks, so you can kind of see. Toasty warm, it's still warm and hot on the brownie. Look at that. Well, there you go. It is the Nostalgia Electrics S'mores Maker. I'm going to say it works pretty good. And what I'm going to do after this video for dinner tonight, I'm going to set this up, bring all of this stuff for dessert at the dinner table. Then I'll leave some information in the comments section on how that went. So you can read that down there. And I don't know if anybody reads that. I do. Well, actually, people do read it because they find f spelling mistakes that I do. And then they say, hey, you spelled something wrong. And I'll go fix it right away. So that's uh, called LPS Thoughts. I always kind of add a little tidbits, other things I thought of or updates on a product. And you can check it out there. Thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. And if you're ready for more ovens, cool sets, then fall time is the time. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.